Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming just like quite possibly the most random video that will probably ever go up on my channel. Like I don't have anything written out for this video. I'm just like, you know what? Let's just talk about life and like what's been going on and what I've been loving and stupid stuff like that because that's like truly what my life has become. I thought it'd be fun just because I know a lot of you guys don't follow me on Instagram and if you don't follow me on Instagram you're missing out on all the stories where I just kind of endlessly talk. I talk a lot so I figured it'd be kind of fun to just update you guys on what's been going on with my life. I had to upgrade you guys. I had to get a Mac and a new laptop which is exciting because now I can edit my videos instead of on my desktop which is literally like six or seven years old and does not move very fast. I actually purchased mine from Facebook Marketplace because I do not understand why laptops are so freaking expensive especially macbooks and like the ones that i would want would be so expensive because i need a lot of storage and like the ram and all that stupid stuff for video editing so i was like you know what let's just buy a year old one on facebook marketplace and i saved myself like like 800 dollars, which is crazy and still has apple care which is exciting i bought it from a guy who um used to work at the apple store so that's how i kind of knew it was working well and Cody made sure it was working well. He came with me when I bought it. That was fun. Everybody likes spending tons of money on unexpected things, <laughs> but that's life. Being an adult is like so annoying sometimes because as you guys know, because you guys are probably adults too, the unexpected like surprise is going to cost you a ton of money. Those things really suck. Like I would much rather spend my money on handbags, but you know, I have to spend it on like healthcare and um, teeth stuff and getting my windshield fixed because somebody threw a rock at it kind of things. So that's what's been going on. Been paying for adult things, guys. Don't worry, you guys. I have been purchasing some stupid purchases too, but um, I also went to Nantucket recently. I went for my friend's wedding. She got married there and it was so, so pretty. My friend Krista, she's a blogger. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know who she is. Um, I did an entire blog post on my blog, basically talking about, well, actually it was an entirely shot on a film camera blog post um, about Boston and Nantucket. So if you want to check that out, please do. I love those posts and I like you guys liking film photography because I think it's fun. Cody and I do really enjoy shooting film photography. We also obviously enjoy shooting regular photography, but film has just been a whole nother can of worms, an expensive can of worms. It's definitely not a cheap hobby, but it's been really, really fun for the both of us to kind of try something new. I came back from Nantucket and Cody and I both had like a cold and then we had four days home and then we went to Atlanta this past weekend for Music Midtown which was so fun. You guys, I met so many of you guys there. Duh! I always forget how many of you guys are based in the South and there's just so many of you guys there and that is so exciting to me because it's like, do people even watch me anymore? I've been on here for like 10 years, you know, like I'm old news, which is fine. It's part of growing up. I love getting to meet you guys and saying like thank you for watching my stuff and liking my stuff on Instagram and getting to know you and finding out where you're from. If you ever see me out, please come up to me. I swear this resting bitch face of mine is just that. It does not reflect the inside. I'm a really nice person. I act exactly how I act on Instagram and YouTube as I do in person. In fact, I'm very much weirder, so. But I unfortunately had um, food poisoning when I was in Atlanta. So that was really, really unfortunate. And I'm just now getting over that. And on top of that, I got a nice little cold. Life is just kicking me while I'm down, but it's it's totally fine. I'm not complaining. I came on here to talk about how excited I was to meet you guys despite having my setbacks. Okay, so now that we are back home in Nashville, I keep thinking it's like gonna be fall outside and I keep dressing like it's fall outside. Like look at I'm wearing jeans and sweatshirt. It's definitely like 95 degrees outside. Keep dreaming, Sarah, you know? And I'm going to continue dressing this way because why the hell not, you know? This sweatshirt, by the way, I know I'll get a lot of questions about it, is from Amazon Prime. Literally one of their, like, Amazon fashion brands, and I really, really, really love it. It was, like, $30. I feel like tie-dye sweatshirts are everywhere. You can find them on, like, Revolve and Urban Outfitters, but they're all over $50. This one was $30. I don't know if it's still gonna be available by the time this goes up, 
but if it is I'll link it in the description box and along with other stuff because this is real cute I was like laying out my hat while I was away this weekend because we had to walk in the rain in Nantucket to our Airbnb for 15 minutes and it was pouring down rain I was wearing this hat so the brim got really messed up and I always get questions about how do you fix the brim because like it can get all soggy looking and gross is I either steam the brim just to kind of get it like moist and stuff and then I put a bunch of like books and bookends and a bunch of heavy stuff on top of the brim and I lay it out for like a few days and then it gets back to its normal shape so life hack there the reason I saw this on the ground and it sparked something in me was because because Urban Outfitters actually has a dupe for this hat now. This hat will retail you will retail $150 um, on Amazon, which you know I'll link it in the description box in case you want the Teak Rancher um, hat from Lack of Color. But Urban Outfitters has um, three colors, and they're I think like $44. So I'm gonna link those in the description box because the most asked question I get these days is if there is any dupes on the market for this. There is one that I have found, then that's all. So if you want to check it out, I will link it in the description box. It will help you all very, very much. Another thing I wanted to talk about. I'm telling you guys, this video is all over the place. We're just gonna go from here to here and here and here. Workout stuff. Let's talk about that. Cody and I love to go to the gym together. Swole. Um, I am actually not a very fit person as you can see from my beach pictures, but that's okay. I'm a normal healthy person and I just like to work out. It's fun. I go about four times a week. If there is one thing that I'm very, 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 very picky about, because obviously I thrift and I know a good deal when I find one, like, hello, my $30 shirt with my Zara jeans. Like, I love all price points. I'm a snob when it comes to workout clothes because I was a runner for so long. I did cross country in high school and I hate having to pull up leggings. Like that pisses me off. I thought that's how all leggings were. I never had like good workout stuff. I would always just go to TJ Maxx, which you know, TJ Maxx sells really, really good stuff too. Just the stuff I wasn't buying, I was buying because it was like cute looking. You know what I mean? So I got really, really into aloe yoga. I love aloe yoga. It is so expensive expensive but putting those matching sets on make me feel so good at the gym like no one cares about what I look like at the gym but I feel so good in them there's one thing I've discovered recently on Amazon and it is their workout clothes they're so good their leggings that I got which I think are like still $40 they're still not like super cheap are so good I don't have to continuously pull up them up they've feel super soft kind of like aloe yoga not as soft as aloe yoga but still real good and their bra I got some big boobs guys I have like 34 C 34 D there's my bra size in case you guys wanted to know I hide them pretty well love this it keeps my tits in place and it's awesome so I'm gonna link this in the description box for you guys in case you guys want to check that out I also got this little workout top I haven't worn this but I'm gonna wear it tonight if you follow me on Instagram, I'll update you guys on how much I like it. I don't typically wear like top tops to the gym unless I'm on my period and I'm like, you know, bloated. But I am on my period, so I'm going to wear that tonight. Oh my god, I've been rambling for 12 minutes. This is amazing. If I post this, I'm going to be so proud of myself because there's literally no point to this video. There's no point. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about is my new plan. So I have been really, really good about buying new plants recently. Um, I don't buy a lot because I don't have space for them anymore. I have filled up all the spots that get light, basically. Um, there's just not a lot of light in this house, which I can't wait to buy a house, hopefully, this coming year. And I will hopefully have a lot better light for my plants. Because right now I have like a grow light that's right over here that shines down on these because these don't get enough light from Amazon, of course. When I saw that Hewitt Garden Center had this plant, in, I just knew I had to go get it. This is the hmm, something tetrasperma and it is the coolest plant ever. It's like a monstera type leaf but they look so cool. I don't know I'll put a fully grown one and this is like typically a plant that I have good luck with. Like I can keep these type of plants alive. There's a lot of plants that I've learned I can't keep alive which I can do an entire video on. So that's my new plant and I love it and I obviously will show you guys as it grows but I'm very very excited and yay. Plants. If you are still watching this you rock. 
This is like a podcast, but you're like watching me and you're like, why am I still watching this girl? Another thing I've been really into is this nail polish. I bought this nail polish because it was on sale at Sally's and it's the OPI Do You Have This Color in Stockholm? And the reason I actually bought it was because it had Stockholm in it and that's like where Cody and I, well actually we want to go to Copenhagen, but he went to Stockholm this year and loved it so we want to go together. But I bought it because of the name and now I'm wearing it because I love it. I'm not usually a purple person, but recently I've been like buying purple stuff and I'm like, who am I? If I can find this nail polish though online, I'm gonna link it obviously in the description box below. Another thing I wanna talk about is my new camera. So I got this camera, well it's new to me, it clearly is not very new if you look at it. Not very new at all. This is my Olympus stylus epic and i've heard about this camera for years online about how it's like the best point and shoot film camera and i was just like whatever it's so overpriced blah 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 but i can find really good cameras which is true you can find really really good cameras but this one is so tiny and i honestly bought it with an amazon gift card so i didn't pay m with my own money but it was a gift card so i mean i still love it i would still spend money on it but i wanted to like test it out to see if i really loved it granted i haven't actually developed the pictures but if you follow me on my instagram where i'm doing or wait if you follow me on my well if you do follow me on my instagram i post about my blog but my blog i do like film picture a day type thing on there so if you want to check it out i'll have this one, whenever it does get developed, right now I'm on shot 20. Probably take this in early next week to get developed. The pictures that most people get of these um, are amazing. And I mean, look at how tiny this thing is. It fits in my little tiny Fendi, which is another favorite, but anyway, perfectly. Like I can literally toss it in a bag this small and it's fine. I've never had a film camera that I can do that with which is crazy. Which also brings me to the next thing, which is the film camera that I bought from the thrift store that I showed you guys in a video a few videos back. Um, it was $2 and we got the film developed and it's amazing. I mean, granted this camera is like super chunky and not as small and compact as that one, but for $2, you guys, like that's low key, like one of my favorite like cameras we've ever shot with. So I'm really excited about that one. Look at these pictures. Aren't they incredible? Like I'm shook. Why am I still talking? Next thing is this cute bag. So here's the thing. This is my last, I think, thing I'm going to talk about. I love Sex and the City, as you guys know. And whenever the Fendi baguette came back out, there was two Fendi baguettes that I really, really liked from the Fendi new collection. But like, I don't have a billion dollars to spend on a new Fendi because I'm getting like my teeth cleaned and paying for it. <laughs> health insurance and fixing my shattered car windshield and my tire and all that fun stuff. Life is the son of a to be quite frank. I decided I wanted to find the perfect vintage one and it took me literally a year of searching on Poshmark and eBay to find the perfect one. Originally I wanted like the zebra like fur vintagey one and those ones were going for like 700 bucks and I was like I'm not paying 700 bucks for that like there's just no way. This one I found on eBay and it does have like a little mark right here which is not ideal but what can you do? For like $400 and it's in such good condition. I love it so much and now I feel like Sarah Jessica Parker for real. Sarah Jessica Parker, girls from Cincinnati. We got it in common. I I'm just so excited. But we are really excited. I mean me and myself, my other Gemini personality. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys made it to the end, leave me a comment below or like this video so I know you guys made it to the end. And if my haters are still watching, love you guys too. Keeping me young with my Botoxed face. I think that's all. Until next time, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.